<laughs> the voice of Lara Croft is Keely Hawes. Oh. Now, apparently, this got confusing for your son. Is this true? It did. It did. When I first started doing it, my son, who will kill me um, after this story, <laughs> uh, my son, who's now 15, but was, was quite little, and uh, he could never get past the, the first stage. And so he, you just make her run around and sort of swim and rock climb and things. Okay. But um, she, has, she wears these shorts. You know, um, and uh, so he was doing that, and then he came running and he said, "Mummy," I said, "How's it going? You know, are you enjoying that?" He said, "I like the way the lady runs." <laughs> 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 the lady with my with mummy's voice was a bit. <laughs> did you then ban him from playing that yes, game? I, yes, you did. <laughs> but I've spoken to people who've done this, and it's not as simple. You don't just say the lines. I mean, it takes. Hours and um, hours, yeah, doesn't it? Hours. Mm. Because don't you have to make every little noise that you might ever yeah. conceivably make? Yeah. Well, let me say, a, a person, let's call them a fan, has <laughs> put together, seriously, has put together every noise you make. Not every noise. <laughs> I, I, I beg to differ. I, I, I think we are about to hear oh, no, every please. noise you make. <laughs> It oh, takes no. a little while. You can shut your eyes, oh, no. you. You'll enjoy this. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, this, no. this is uh, the vocal stylings of Phoebe <laughs> Halls as Lara Croft. Here we go. <laughs> It's so adorable the way the husband keeps Florence kind of cocooned in her own sort of self-belief mm. because he, he pays off critics yeah. and protects her from reviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you just think you couldn't do that now because Florence would just, you know, go online, scroll to the comments and never <laughs> sing again. Um, <laughs> We've all done that. We, how, how do we get up in the morning? <laughs> have you, have you Googled Meryl Streep? I, I, I did it when they first invented Google, and never again. <laughs> well, the, the haters had got there first. <laughs> they, they were there ready and waiting. <laughs> but you, you, you go on Twitter, you actually tweet. And people must tweet you back and you see them. I got trolled back. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I have to say, I think the British should be very proud of their trolling, because it's, <laughs> it's very high quality. It's really high. <laughs> What's, the, we what's the worst thing? The year show. <laughs> what's the worst thing you've had? Oh God! Well, they're mostly unrepeatable, but yeah. And there was one only the other day that said uh, Hugh Grant now looks like a scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> That's rather good. I, I wish mine did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but it is that thing, though. When you, when you love someone, you, you do want to either protect them or impress them. You want to be your best possible. Mm. Because now, Keely Halls, you're married to Matthew Mephagin. I am. Uh, but when you were dating, you <laughs> did try to enhance who Keely Halls is, was. Yes. Yes, so what, what did you lie about? I, well, we were chatting away one day, and he, he, we started talking about tennis, and, and I sort of went along with this conversation about tennis and started talking about how, you know, I, I was quite good at tennis, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on a council flat with no ball games above, you know. <laughs> and I, I had not really ever been anywhere near a, a tennis racket. And, oh, yes, we do. And so I took myself off for lessons because he then sort of had arranged this game of tennis. And so I was going to turn up and, you know, Hum be humiliated. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, I went and um, had, a, had a few lessons. And did you lie about <laughs> skiing as well? I lied about skiing. <laughs> <laughs> I lied about cooking. That was good. That was good. Because he's an excellent cook. Oh. And um, so See, I made a stop you there. Dark. Basic thing. Wouldn't, if somebody is an excellent cook, 
let them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was, you know, trying to impress them. So, what, what did you cook him? Well, I went to a Tesco Metro, and I <laughs> <laughs> one of those. I don't even know what it was. Some Tesco sort of Select and pe pepper type thing, and I made the flat very, very dark and lit some candles and sort of shoved it in the microwave and got it out with with none of the you know apparatus to prove that I'd cooked. I don't know what I thought I was doing. <laughs> made it very dark, and he was eating it and saying, "What's what's in this?" <laughs> so, um, well, you know, beef and peppers. And, and it, it was awful, and, and then the lights went on, and then it all... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ski lie is quite a common one, though. I had a, uh, a, a, a girl I knew who did the same lie uh, you did about tennis, about skiing with this boy she really fancied. He said, do you want to come skiing? And she didn't ski at all, but for some reason she said yes. Turned up on the slopes, didn't really know what she was doing at all, and the first thing she, she told me she needed was a pee, and she didn't really know what was happening, so she asked someone, and they said, well, just go off the side of the piste into the woods and, you know, take your trousers down, have a pee. And so she did that, and halfway through the pee, she lost control of her skis and came <laughs> <laughs> back out onto the piece, still crouching and still peeing. And <laughs> that has to be a low moment. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now, you, Grant, when you talk about your co-stars, you're quite open about talking about your co-stars. I don't remember, you, you gave an interview to Elle magazine, and they asked you about your various leading ladies. Do you remember some of the things you said about them? I think it was regrettable. <laughs> <laughs> well, Emma Thompson, clever, funny, mad as a chair. Well, that's true, you know Emma. Yes, and in yeah. fairness. Yeah. I'm <laughs> quite a mad chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renny Zellweger, delightful, also far from sane. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh, she is genuinely lovely. Yeah. But her emails are 48 pages long. <laughs> wow. I can't understand a word of them. <laughs> I'll, I'll put them on Twitter. <laughs> Do. <laughs> <laughs> um, that Sandra Bullock is genius, a German, but too many dogs. <laughs> way too many dogs. Yeah. Then we get into a run of these. Julianne Moore, brilliant actress, loathes me. <laughs> yes. Rachel Weisz, clever, beautiful, despises me. Yes. Oh. yes. Drew Barrymore, made her cry, hates me. Oh. <laughs> that can't be no, true. No, no. Um, well, Ju Julianne definitely hates me. <laughs> no, Rachel Weisz, I think we got on fine. I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Maybe I was going for a comedy triple. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, who was the third one? Uh, Drew Barrymore. <laughs> she made the mistake of giving me notes. Which, how would you take that? Oh, well, when you're acting with someone and they... I took they, them they very well, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> wow, was that? <laughs> no. So kidding, they believe you. Kidding. They believe. Oh no, no, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> because Meryl, I've heard you speaking about how you are now sort of aware of the effect you have on a cast. Oh yeah, I heard you say you were terrified. You weren't really terrified because the first day I worked with you, I forgot my lines. I and loved you... that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the highlight of my year. <laughs> but here's an interesting question I meant to ask you all these months and yeah. never did. Are you ever nervous? Were you ever nervous? Oh. You did ask me that. Did I? What yes, was your answer? every day you asked me that. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Aren't you nervous? No, I... No. <laughs> <laughs> second week, I'm not nervous of this. But when we got up, when we got up at Carnegie Hall, I was shaking. Yeah. It was terrifying. Yeah. And that was late in the shoot. Um, yeah. And when I had to, you know, mm -hmm. at the end, when I... No, 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 no. Well, that's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get I get nervous. I get nervous on chat shows. Chat shows are hard. Oh, stop! You're it. a genius. I don't know how you do it. You put the most uptight people uh, relaxed, but it is very tough. But, but you are all relaxed. You're nice. I'm really uptight still. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't moved. I know. But, I'm but, like... uh, but it, the, the thing is, but you can sort of relate to it, I guess, people's reaction to you because when you were starting out, you must have had the reaction to. I did. I did. I, I had the first famous person I knew was Al Pacino. I didn't work with him, but he came over to the house for dinner. He was a friend of my boyfriend, and I was cooking. Why? I cooked spaghetti. I cooked... <laughs> <laughs> I cooked homemade spaghetti sauce and... 
somebody had told me once to put a carrot in the sauce. <laughs> oh, it was awful. And I, I just remember stirring it and for some reason my lip going like this. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything, it was just going... <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous because he was so famous and... But, you know, people You should have just gone to Tesco Metro. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. did, he, did he bitch about the carrot? No. Oh, okay, no. okay, okay. No, I just knew it wasn't any good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it is that thing that every time we see Meryl Streep in a film, you know, it, it becomes kind of ridiculous. But you, you, you are brilliant in them all. Have you got performances that you watch back or remember where you kind of think, oh, actually, I was a bit pants in that, or... Oh, yeah. What? What? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on! Oh, my God! Let's guess! <laughs> no, that's, very, that's a bad <laughs> No, you won't that's guess. A, that's a bad game. You won't game. guess. No, I know. That's a bad <laughs> game. But, but you won't guess because I've just collected a lot of awards for that film. But I'm not. <laughs> Really, so it's one of your big successes, and you think... Uh, well, I wouldn't say it was su successful. It was um, venerated. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I'll get it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. It was the French tennis woman. Yeah, uh, it is, yeah. I, I really thought... But part of it was in the... Stru I'm giving myself an out. But part of it was the structure of it um, was sort of artificial because it was an act. I was the actress playing the French attendance woman. Yeah. At the same time, I was an American actress playing the British woman. And I hear it now. I was young and new at this. And um, I just didn't... I, I wasn't as pleased as, as I could. I didn't feel like I was living it. I didn't feel I imbued. <laughs> 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 the angel of inspiration would be... Whatever it was. That's a line from the movie. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I we always feel you always want to do something better after the fact. But you know. But they, there must be ones also you kind of think nailed it. <laughs> 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 yeah, this you nailed. This you nailed. You, yeah. you both do. Honestly, we were ter happy with terrific it. in it. Uh, now, Keely, as I say, very busy actress. On May the seventh, you're going to be on BBC Two in such a starry Shakespeare adaptation, The Hollow Crown. Hollow Crown. Yeah. There's you and Dame Judi Dench. Yes. Who unfortunately has put some leggings on her head. I don't quite. <laughs> <know>. <laughs> Terrible wardrobe malfunction. But, uh, <laughs> so it's you, Judy Dench. Benedict Cumberbatch is in it? Yes, yes, wow. yes. Lovely Benedict. I love the red. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there um, he is. Yeah. But now, apparently, that was scary. You quite a... Scary things. That was terrifying because I had somehow got to the age of 38 and never done Shakespeare, ever. Mm. And, you know, this, I don't know, if, if you're going to do it, you know, you might as well. And, and you're given the opportunity, but to arrive on your first day on set and immediately have a, have a scene with oh one God. of the greatest yeah. ever Shakespearean actor, you know, Judy Dench, is a bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Does she give notes? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'd take them. <laughs> um, she, she's absolutely heaven. She's, she's been, I mean, she's yeah. just wonderful. And now, apparently yeah. you had quite a surreal evening. Was it with Judy we and did. Benedict we in did. a pub? We did. We, we were in the middle of nowhere. We had amazing locations and we were in this pub and all having a, a bit of supper. And, um, and Benedict came in and Judy was there and, and Judy's lovely friend. And we all sat and, and the door to the little hall joining the pub opening and people sort of people had clocked you know oh there's judy and oh, this was a, a big <laughs> event and um and then a girl came in she was, she was 16 and she came in and started to cry sobbing sobbing and it turned out that she was having in the hall next door in the middle of nowhere a benedict cumberbatch themed birthday party <laughs> <laughs> With, you know, the cake with Ben's face on it. <laughs> and there he was. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that, that was... We know, with Judy Dench as a sort of side note. <laughs> <laughs> Quite extraordinary. It was, a, it was a wonderful thing to see, oh. you know. And, of course, he was brilliant because he's lovely. And, and suddenly it was... I mean, Fabulous. it was just amazing. Oh, isn't that terrible? Her life has peaked at 16. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be better than that. <laughs> Do you remember the year when... <laughs> oh.